Well, hey guys, hello and welcome to this week's Angling News KZN report brought to you right outside the Durban Ski Boat Club. Guys, we just thought it is a peach of a day. It's a beautiful day. We shouldn't be in the studio. We should be out here on the beach and I'll tell you exactly why. And that is because with all that is going on, this big blue moon, the fishing is absolutely epic this weekend. In fact, today is the day. I'm out here Thursday afternoon, but not just today, throughout the entire weekend, it's going to be absolutely epic fishing. Guys, this big moon, the new the, the, this only happens once in a blue moon i mean the next one is happening in 2037 but what it's going to do to the ocean is really create some good fishing and that is starting off from this afternoon so i couldn't wait anymore i needed to get down to the beach and i decided well i'm going to be bringing you this week's fishing report from down here so guys what we've got this week is some real epic stuff just on the south of me it's the, is the harbor where it's absolutely epic at the moment. Guys, we are talking about 7 kilo granta. We are talking about 7 kilo kingfish. The granta is crazy. The cob are in the harbor. The garrick are in the harbor. But not just there. Throughout our entire coastline, we are talking about garrick. There are cob. There are bream. Lots of bream around. The inedibles are starting to make their appearance. And the bass is absolutely on fire at the moment. We are talking about over 50 bass being over 2 kilos coming out of Albert Falls over this past week. So now let's get into all of this. Starting off down the south coast. Guys, down the south coast, there has been some good days of fishing. There's been some bad days. There's been some mixed bags. But more than anything, even with the wind that's been coming through over this August, the guys have been getting fish. They've been getting garrick in these windy conditions. They are getting... Uh, bronze bream in these windy conditions, black bream in these conditions. I mean, look at some of these visuals that Adam has sent to me. It is an absolutely great time happening down the south coast. And these are fish that are coming out on a daily basis. Guys, the flavor of baits down the south coast for this week has been chocker and prawn bait. So down the south coast looking absolutely epic. And these are the water conditions that came through from Adam. So, Vinesh, we're down here at Manaba Beach, Shad Bay in the front here. We've got Black Rock up in the point. Things not looking too bad at the moment in the front. Maybe try for a quarantine or two. There's been quite a few of them around at the moment, some big-sized ones as well. Swell is still a bit big, as you can see out in the back there, so not too sure what the weather's going to hold for the weekend. Hopefully, it's not going to be as bad as what we're seeing at the moment. So, let's see. Oh, hey, Stephen Seagull, Vinesh, we've got in the picture here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully the weather for the weekend's better than what it has been. Thank you, Adam. Guys, so that's your lower south coast. Now, in Scottsboro, uh, I didn't get too many reports apart from the usual suspects, the scratching species, your rock species, that kind of thing, but no fireworks, nothing to really brag about. A lot of the small rock species has been on the bite. However, Warner Beach, guys, Gary has told me there's been a couple Garrick this week. There was a shoal of sardines that made their appearance and a Garrick in between that. There has been a few shared in between as well, but very far and few in between. But the ones that were coming out were good quality shared. In fact, we got a report of one being about five and a half kilos that came out earlier this week. So Warner Beach, Garrick, Shad, and of course, that Stumpies and Brasher are still on the bite at night. Now, moving on down to Durban. So guys, in Durban, this is where the reports really start firing. I mean, I've got the full detailed report on our podcast, so make sure to check that out. That is why Mike V is talking about these in full detail. But guys, what I can tell you for now, guys, going towards the north of me is Moyo's Pier. And this week at Moyo's Pier, there were Garrick coming out on Shad Traces. The Garrick were crazy this week. We're talking about Garrick from Blue Lagoon, uh, the Bluff area, Anstey's, Virginia, Glen Ashley, and Amschlange. So Garrick has been absolutely wild. If you are looking for some other species of the surf, well, there has been a fair amount of Stumpies and Granta on the bite. Now, on your offshore side, it hasn't been the greatest of weeks. It has been really trying and difficult. The seas has been big. We've had a heavy northwesterly pumping throughout the entire week. In fact, I was speaking to Brad, and Brad said he hasn't been out all week. They have been out doing just whale watching. So, yeah, the whales has been around. And, of course, there are some stories with the whales that have been washed up on the beach, which is for another day. Right now, it's the fishing reports. And although the offshore fishing wasn't all that great, there were some anglers that went out and really reaped the rewards with the bottom fishing. That keelback and dogger salmon are definitely on the bite. Uh, guys have been coming through with some proper bragging rights on those. Now, the highlight of Durban this week, guys, has been the harbor. 
the amount of fish that are coming up mixed bag of species but we are talking about a lot of granta the granta has been absolutely crazy ranging from one kilos to seven kilos that i mean it is absolutely epic the catches are coming through on a daily basis circulating the social media groups and apart from that there's also the kingfish on the bite and i'm talking up to seven kilos there was a report of a seven kilo kingfish that is absolutely epic and apart from that the what is are the catches that has been coming through from Safia and Hajra. So guys, Durban is the place to be, hence me being down here. Now it's definitely going to get a lot better. I mean, with that moon phase that has come through, the fishing is definitely going to be picked up. Now, while I'm in Durban, guys, just a shout out to our sponsors, the King Fisher. They, could, they are the ones that are responsible for bringing all these shows together. So guys, support those that support you. And in this case, the King Fisher. Now moving up the North Coast, where there has been some decent fishing in your Belito Salt Rock area, but these are more localized fishing. I cannot say exactly where about they were because they have been in different spots on daily basis, but the guys have been getting some garrick. Apart from that, there's just been a lot of small scratching species, nothing to go crazy about. Once again, because of this northwesterly, but what we can tell you is that this moon phase is bound to change a lot of fishing that's going to happen. And if you want to know exactly why this moon is so epic, well, I'm going to do another show later on about this what this big moon does but jesse on our podcast is going to be talking about what is happening with this big gravitational pull that's happening right now and what it's going to do to the sea and what it's going to do to the sea over the next few days so make sure to listen to that so look out for so guys look out for our next video regarding this big moon that's happening right now and uh yeah all the more reason to subscribe now before we really get into the deeper end of North Coast, I also want to give a shout out to my sponsor, CMH Pine Town. They are Nissan, Mitsubishi, and Proton. Guys, they got us out this weekend to cover the Albert Falls. They are the ones that are getting us out to get all this fresh content. So once again, if you are looking for a vehicle, support our sponsors. Now moving further up from Belito, guys, Blightdale, Tugela, Stanger. I've got some reports from my friend Suvika, who's been having a great time at the moment. They've been getting some Snook and Garrick off the Blightdale area. Moving further to the Tugela area, there's some big spade fish. And that's also followed with some Garrick and Cobb. Moving further now to Imtenzini Banks, there is zero fishing i'm sorry my friends there is no fishing happening out there at the moment there's zero reports of anything that's happened on your rock and surf side neither has there been anything on your offshore side the guy simply have, hasn't been out the conditions were just not suitable for it and those that did fish were just merely fishing the river and getting a lot of that smaller species that's expected in the river but going up to Richards Bay, Richards Bay and St. Lucia, guys, it is fantastic at the moment. On your offshore side, tuna, garrick, um, snook, uh, cooter, that's all the species that are coming out on that end. There's still the garrick on your rock and surf side, there are some cob coming out at night on your rock and surf end, and the shad are still on the bite, not as regularly, but they are on the bite in the mornings and in the afternoon. So when that shoal is there, you are definitely going to be getting that fish. So guys, now for the freshwater side in KZN, moving up to the Midlands. Guys, it's been scaly action the entire week. Jan has been sending me some great footage of what's been going on with the scalies. It hasn't stopped. It is a good time if you are looking for that serious scaly action. And then if you are looking for the best, like we said, it is spawn season. Now, speaking about that spawn season, this big full moon generally gets that bass spawning like you can't believe. However, you need that water to be between 16.5 to 17 degrees for that fish to spawn. And unfortunately, we've had some pretty warm conditions. So the temperatures this weekend is not looking favorable for that either. It's looking around the 30 plus uh, degree mark in your Midlands area. So you know what? I don't think they're going to be spawning. However, in saying that, there was a lot of bass that came out last week at Albert Falls. Guys, we are talking over 50 bass being over 2 kilos. The winning one being 4.25 kilos. It's a great time at Albert Falls. And not just the bass coming out at Albert Falls. The bass are also coming out at Inanda, Hazelmere. Pretty much, this is the time for your bass. I didn't get too much reports of the carp that's been going on, but I can only assume they are ready for your boily baits. So guys, that is our fishing report brought to you right outside the Melbourne Skateboard Club. I couldn't wait to get on the beach. I mean, thanks to the beauty of technology, we can really get out here and deliver this content. Why be stuck in a studio when you've got a peach of a day like this? And we know this afternoon 
It's going to be epic. It's one of those last days of the northwesterly. Tomorrow is the south, but it's going to turn to a north again. The fish are going to be feeding. And uh, if you want to know why, listen to the podcast, and that will tell you exactly what this moon is going to do. But we know there is fish in KZN. It's, there's been fish throughout the entire week. I can't wait. My tackle's in the car. I'm going to get out there. I just wanted to bring you this content, and I'm going to put a bait out. I will see you guys next week, and it's going to be some real epic catches, guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and see what we are delivering on next week's Angler News KZN Fishing Report. And also remember, when you're out there, always keep that fishing area tidy. Respect your bag limits and fish for the future.